Yes, sir, we'll call the Carlton. Okay. Just over 40 meters away from its uh, docking port and the Poisk module, a good view of the Soyuz spacecraft against the limb of the Earth. Then the, the docking mechanism has uh, been powered up on the Soyuz spacecraft, the forward docking probe, everything in readiness for contact and capture a short time from now. Soyuz and the International Space Station about to fly into an orbital sunset. The target is approaching the center. Range 30. A good view of the uh, Soyuz spacecraft, the forward compartment, the bulbous section is called the orbital module where the avionics and forward docking probe are located. The crew is strapped into their seats in the center section, the descent module, the only section of the Soyuz that comes back to Earth. And at the rear, with the solar rays and its engines, the instrumentation and propulsion module. One cell down, one cell to the left. Copy, crosshair is alive. Range 25. 25 meters away, looking right down the barrel of the Poisk module's docking port. Just two weeks ago, Expedition 24 departed from that same docking port as Alexander Skvortsov, Mikhail Kornienko, and Tracy Caldwell-Dyson left the International Space Station, leaving it uh, down to a trio of crew members for two weeks. Tonight, uh, the Expedition 25 crew under the command of Doug Wheelock about to receive new residents. Mission pole, clip, 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 clip. Target, half cell down, one cell to the left, crosshair to the line, range 20. On the left side of uh, the Poisk module, a good view of the core's rendezvous system, what is known as the uh, passive side of the uh, core's system. The active side is on the Soyuz vehicle as uh, navigational data is beamed back and forth between the docking port and the arriving spacecraft. Target is moving to the right. That's okay. Sasha, this is okay. Uh, after OR, we always have some roll uh, oscillation. The target is one third cell to the right, half cell down. And we copy. Range about 10 meters. The crosses basically coincide. There is a half uh, cell difference for course. The target is half cell down. Copy. 10 meters away, final alignment uh, from the core's automated rendezvous system in work. The crew on board uh, the International Space Station, as well as aboard the Soyuz vehicle, standing by for contact and capture. Half cell down, quarter cell left. Uh, the crosses have coincided. Copy. One cell down. The crosses are together. We're waiting for we're waiting for the contact.
Yes, Mikhail Saidin, Padovsky. Docking confirmed. Medical contact. Yes, medical contact confirmed. And capture confirmed. Docking occurring at 7.01 p.m. Central Time, 4.01 a.m. Moscow Time. The Expedition 25 crew has doubled in size. That's right. Inaudible speaking at the same time. And don't close on one. All right, copy. Page 77. The International Space Station in free drift. Thrusters disabled to allow uh, the dampening of the relative motion of the two vehicles to settle down and initiate the retraction of the docking probe for hooks and latches to close. Docking occurring over the South Pacific, west of Chile, at an altitude of 222 statute miles. It looks like uh, on input two we can close the window. Yes, that is correct. Back. Back. All right. Let's select what angle. And what display would be more convenient for you? Basically, it would be more convenient for us to inaudible. To do what? VP? Yes. VP. We'll be standing by momentarily for the initiation of the retraction of the docking probe. The new modified Soyuz TMA 01M functioned flawlessly during its two day transit from the launch pad of the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Gain control. 